Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Live from E3. To my left, once again, Malik Forte. Hello, sir. <laughs> and Will from the Need for Speed yeah. team. How you it's doing? It's been a long time, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good, good to see to, you again, it's Ryan. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> on to talk Need for Speed Payback. Uh, you're the creative director on this, that's right? That's right, yeah. So that's a lot of responsibility. Uh, but tell me a little bit about what makes Payback unique from the long and storied Need for Speed franchise. Right, yeah. You know, we, we listen to our fans all the time, and the fans really know what to expect from Need for Speed. It's always about iconic cars, insane customization, yeah. tense racing, right? Right. Epic cop chases, and all in a gorgeous environment, right? Those are the fantasies that people have always had in Need for Speed. Now we're taking all of that core, and we're focusing it on an action movie blockbuster. So giving you more reasons to drive fast, whether it's you know, driving the VIP you know, to the uh, safe house on time, or if it's you know, chasing down rivals. We're gonna look at a mission here that's a highway heist. You're gonna, okay. be, you're gonna be chasing down an 18-wheeler, hijacking it, and stealing a $2 million hypercar from the back of it. So it's a really strong motivation for you to drive fast. I, right, right. I was gonna say that this trailer showed, I think it what was it, the EA, EA Play, right? The EA, yeah. EA Play. Yeah. Yeah. This trailer's just absurd, all right? Yeah. <laughs> There's so much going on. The action is so spectacular. Yeah, we're talking about this right here. Yeah, we, so what are we is that a doing takedown? Or like, what, what is that? Yeah, so what we want to do is we want to make you feel like an action movie hero. Right. right? When you look back at the history of you know, TV and movie car chases, right. Right? the best moments are you know, when you barrel down on someone, you make them crash, and then you get that presentation, right? You get cars flying, flipping, parts flying off. You get right. the camera, right? right. Slow mo, and the sonic treatment around that that makes you feel like you did that. Yeah. You made that action hero moment happen. Right, right. So, so, do you guys have like a certain classification for what that is in this game? Absolutely. Yeah. Because we want it to feel like a reward, right? Yeah. You know, if, if you see it all the time, it's not a reward. So, right. we want to reward you for having chased down you know, your rivals, jostled and battled with, with them, right? And then taking them out at the right time to create that action movie moment that really sells the biggest, baddest crack, uh, crack in the game. I love it, I love it. Now, I gotta talk about the main characters because that's another point that we were just talking about, actually, is you guys have teams all around the world specializing in different fields. Yeah. You guys really want to put that action movie story front Absolutely, and center. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the characters that are going to be the face of Payback. Now, with our narrative teams, our cinematic teams, we really want to you know, create characters that are relatable. That's what our fans want, is they want right. strong motivation to, to drive fast, right? And how better than you know, to do that, the three characters that represent the breadth, the variety of gameplay that we have in Need for Speed Payback. So we got Tyler, the aspiring street racer. We got Mac, who's kind of the, he's kind of the comic relief, but he's also the extreme driver, the style guy. So he does off-roading and he does uh, drift events. And then we've got Jess, who's the consummate professional driver. Uh, right. She's the, the, the one who's just, you know, goes according to plan, she gets the package delivered on time. She's the one who baits the cops away. Right. We've got three players that, or three characters that really come together, collaborate, and um, uh, win against all odds to bring down the house, the bad guys in our game. Right, you kind of take control of all three of them as the story progresses, That's right? right? Yeah, you can no. switch between them, and then on the map it shows you, you know, if you switch to Mac, you want to do some drifting, drift events pop up on the map, right? You want to do some action missions, boom, you, you switch to Jest, there they are. Right. But then we have these blockbuster missions where you have to uh, play all three as okay. they collaborate. Uh, kind of like, is that kind of what we saw? That's right, so I know what just, Tyler, right. he's chasing down that truck, he's battling with the, the, the house of horses. And then once Jess drop, jumps on the truck and hijacks the Konex egg, it's her time to shine, getting away from those cops. Excellent. That's I love good. it. It's so nice. How do those? How are those story missions structured? Like, do you guys unlock it one at a time? Do you get to pick from a selection? Like, how are you guiding player progression? Yeah. On? So right when you uh, uh, start off, Need for Speed Payback, we give you a little intro to the characters, give you an intro of to you know, what they're up against. You know, it is a revenge story, and so our crew they're, they're trying to make their way in the, uh, the city of Silver Rock. And then, you know, they take this job and things kind of go wrong, right? And it's all set up by the house, the, you know, this evil cartel that controls everything in the city. And they do some bad things to our crew early on, right? It's a big setback. And then Tyler has to reassemble his crew to get payback against the house. Ah, it's the name. There you go. Yeah. And then tell me a little bit about that customization. Yeah. Uh, obviously, customization, it's important to you guys. Customization yeah. is always off the hook in Need for Speed, right? You know, in the last Need for Speed, we had millions and millions of unique rides uploaded, and now we're making it even more flexible. The fans have asked for more parts. Wait, wait, hold on. Millions and millions, and you want to make it more? Oh, no, right? <laughs> I was like, no, you've already Maybe achieved maximum yeah, yeah. flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we've got more parts. We've got you know, body kits that you can mix and match. We've got new performance upgrades that 
you know, really force you to make some choices about you know, how you want to kit out your ride for particular races and particular missions. And then we made uh, performance tuning more accessible by putting it in the open world. Right? So you're not just you know, fiddling with sliders in the garage and then you know, seeing what the difference is in the real world. You're doing it as you can drive in the real world. So That's really right. dialing in your ride for what you want to do. Right, right. We just saw Jess steal the car and she's That's like, right, yeah. Right, and she's and escaping now. Cops. But, uh, That's right. I, I love yeah, that got, shot. The cop chasers are back. Yeah. Right? So, you know, different heat levels, levels of cops, roadblocks, bike strips, copters tracking you. Yeah. And then by popular demand, the return of rhinos, the guys who try to you know, plow Man. head first into you, yeah. Goodness gracious. This is my eternal question with racing games, Will. How do you guys as a studio balance out realistic handling and making these cars recognizable, yeah. right? But also keep it fun, keep it fast yeah. paced, like yeah. keep the rhythm. Well, yes, yeah, that because we've got the, the power of frostbite physics. Right? It's a full, deep physics simulation. Right, and we, we, we um, recreate real life cars, but then our goal is hero driving, right? We wanna make everyone who picks up the dual shock to really feel like a hero right away, right? You're learning the basic controls, you're speeding down the highway, and you, you know, it, it's kind of a shame when people have an idea of what they wanna do to, yeah. to make those hero moments, but they can't make it happen. So our hero driving uh, physics makes you the hero at all times. Right, right. Now, I mean, I want to go a little bit back to the customization for a second. Uh, is there a way that everybody can kind of share their creations and share what their cars are? Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you've uh, customized your car, and then we've got the insanely powerful wrap header, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which lets you, right you know, make your livery exactly how you want it, right? Yep. If you want you know, sponsors, if you want you know, your, your, your team logo on there, you know, whatever you want to create using the wrap header, you can do. And then we have wrap sharing. So you oh, just no. have to upload it, and then other players can take your wrap, and then you, know, you, you can take over the world. Yeah, pretty much. Design, right? <laughs> yeah, you get the glory, right? Yeah. <laughs> look at dude, Malik. Look at that car. I know, right? Yeah. So that, we've got different car classes here. Popping. This Beetle. It's been restored from scrap to stock, and now it's turned into very that, supercars. That's a little bit more me because it's off-road. Like, <laughs> off yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Who doesn't want an off-road Beetle, right? Uh, you know, that was ooh, uh, wow. made using the wrap editor. <laughs> yeah. You make the graphics exactly how you want them, Malik. That, that's All right, good. Here's a here's an old Camaro. All right, it's been uh, you know, upgraded to, to be a oh badass driver. Yeah, here's a, a, a classic um, uh, race car, right? BMW right. M4, right. kitted out, right. slammed down. Here's what we call a runner class. This is for Jess, our uh, professional driver, to you know, you know, sort of subtly you know, work her way through rush hour traffic without getting spotted by the cops. And then classic 350Z, right? Perfect for drifting. Mm -mm -mm. You guys got a good uh, assortment there, man. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> proud of it. I'm really proud of it. I. Let me just ask this real quick. Mm -hmm. Who has the nicest car at the studio? Oh. <laughs> um, well, it, does everyone just one because does everyone know, there's, just there's roll up? Rivalry. Um, yeah, I, I got to avoid that question. But uh, we, oh, okay. we, we, we have some dudes with um, some pretty sweet rides that are very in need for speed. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling his car is pretty nice too. I, Maybe I, that was just a modest yeah, play. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. He's yeah. probably just holding back. Like, yeah. He, my car, though. My car. My, my, okay, it's my Honda Civic. Uh, <laughs> can I take that for a spin? <laughs> Probably have it tricked out, too. I, I, I love to take it for a spin. Tell me, uh, I'm, we may have touched on it a little bit before, but before we wrap, I, I uh -huh. want to hear about multiplayer, because that's right. obviously a component to the Need for Speed series as yeah, well. You guys got a few things going yeah, on in Payback. Need for Speed is inherently competitive, right? When you're racing, you're competing. Yeah. As someone said that the, the first race happened when the first two cars were built. Yeah. Right? So yeah, we have <laughs> Autolog, right, which is our asynchronous competition across all story races, all story missions, and all of the open world activities that you find. Right, comparing your times against friends, being pushed to you. And then we have our online speed lists, online multiplayer between uh, players of equivalent skill, just doing race after race after race, you know, wow. building that rivalry over hour one, hour two, hour five, hour 10. I love it. That sounds good. Uh, Malik, that any last good. questions? No, no, man. I feel, like, all right, I feel man. like he covered all the bases. Yeah. All the bases. Hey, get the keys after this. <laughs> yeah, get the keys. Yeah, hey, uh, let's give me the keys. Reverse open world, 24 hour uh, time of day cycle for the first time in Need for Speed. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's so, a nugget right there. Yeah, you never oh, seen yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. the Heard it again? <laughs> right, right. I'm ready. Will, it's always a pleasure to see you. Yeah, Thank a real you so pleasure much. being here. Yeah, man, um, thanks we're for happy to have Need for Speed Payback on the show. We are happy to have you guys watching at home. We hope you enjoyed that first look. Well, not first look. It's the first look with Will right here. Right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we have much more to come from PlayStation Live from E3. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us. PlayStation.